All right, so now let's take a step back and talk about some customer case studies. So the personas that I told you about, let me translate them into the actual customer deployments that we have done. So the first one is for the new GCP customer. Okay, so this customer is a leading provider of security and intelligent data mining. They provide software to their client. So for example, one of their customers is a call center. So they will be sending them the voice and video recordings. They will take the recording from, from this partner and then their software will do the analysis on, on that piece of software to give them some meaningful outcome based on the raw data that they receive. And they have a number of different partners uh, sending them different type of traffic. So their main pain point was that the onboarding of those partners was taking too long. Because remember, these partners can bring different type of workload. They could have different type of routers or setups behind the scene. It could be AWS VPC that they are trying to connect to GCP, or it could be an on-prem branch, right? So we, we said, okay, this is the problem. Okay, we can solve this. And then what about providing the compliance across these multiple tenants? That was their main Another concern that, okay, we, I wanna make sure that this traffic is segregated because there are different clients. And when the problem uh, comes in or there, there's a problem in the application, the troubleshooting was a very lengthy process, right? How, so customer will come to them saying, you know, I cannot ping from my on-prem side to your side or from my cloud VPC to your cloud VPC. So those were the real problems that this customer had and the solution that we provided with them is with the hub and spoke architecture, as you can see here in the diagram. So with that, the automation is automated. With our site to cloud, we support number of IPsec uh, uh, options in the encryption and uh, authentication category. So it doesn't really matter if you have a very old branch router or something, uh, we can connect there and then uh, bring them as part of your cloud network. If your partners are bringing the same IP addresses, we have patented advanced netting capabilities that can overcome those issues for you. So if you have a need, let's you know, talk to us. And then we also enable the egress FQDN filtering to make sure that the security posture is enhanced. And when the traffic is going towards the internet, it is secure based on the FQDN. And the last piece is about the users connecting into this network. So we have very strong policy-based, SAML-based VPN support in our platform. So you can onboard your employees or your contractor. We have multi-factor authentication, different options in order to make sure that when these contractors or employees are logging in, they have access to only their applications or resources and they're not going to some, somewhere else. All right, so the next one is is a customer that we have. Um, it's basically providing the AI-based cybersecurity software for the internet and business users. Okay, so this is a B2B model that they follow. So you don't see their software running in front of you because they sell their software to their clients, likes of AT&T, Verizon, Xfinity, Vodafone, and those type of clients. And then these clients will install their software in their hardware devices or their software devices. And that's how your internet traffic or your broadband traffic is, is protected. So their main point, pain point was that, okay, so I have these service providers and they can be in any cloud. So I need to support all these clouds. So I need a global standard network across all these clouds, right? said number one. Number two, for, for some customers or service providers, I have very strict compliance requirements. So I need to make sure that it is highly secure, highly encrypted. That was another pain point. And obviously time to market their service or their application is very important because if there is a DDoS attack or something happened to their code or somewhere, they need to make sure they quickly develop this code and push it to their, their clients, their service providers, right? So yeah, so we, solve this challenge, all these pain points for them with our global transit solution, which is encrypted in nature. Encryption is just by default there. 
and this works across multiple clouds and also to your own prem resources. We solve the problem of compliance with the multi-cloud network segmentations. So when you create these segments, they are applicable in one cloud and also can be extended to multiple clouds. And for developers to make sure that they quickly can log in to the cloud and push the code, we have a strong SAML-based user VPN solution um, for to order to in order to solve these challenges. Okay. Okay, moving on. This is the third one. Now, this customer is our existing customer present heavily in AWS. This is the Fortune 500 customer. And um, they provide a number of different services because it's a group of companies, basically. So they provide services in the aerospace, defense, transportation, or to the service provider market. So their model is, the, is a kind of a SaaS model where their clients and then their partner, they come to their, to their applications or to the VPCs and they consume services from, from them, right? So now they have this challenge of migrating everything from AWS to GCP because as a business decision, they, they want to move everything into GCP. So since they already had our transit-based architecture, it was very simple and easy for them to achieve that because all they had done is just created a transit network in GCP and with just a single click, they enable this active mesh, highly available encrypted peering between these transits. And now they can move all the workload from AWS to GCP at their own pace without having to incur any downtime. And then they're also getting all the benefits, all the use cases in GCP. So for their developers and even their customers, they don't need to know what is running underneath. For them, it's just seamless. And this is the power, this is possible through the, the architecture that we have and the platform that we have. Uh, 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 uh.